Welcome back to DBL. We've all heard the saying it takes a village to raise a child and it's true. Earlier, Lindsay and I spoke with Catherine Weno, a mom who has traveled the world interviewing fellow moms and the things she's learned can help us all. That's today's DBL Spotlight. Catherine, welcome to DBL. So let's be honest, parenting this past year has been like no other and kids do not come with a manual. So I've got to ask you, how do we know? How do I know that I'm doing it right? Well, the truth is you might not ever be doing it right. And who's to say what's right? So you have to set your own definition of success. So for me personally, for so long, it was about more, right? I have to have more money, more titles, more children, more accomplishments. But these days with everything that's going on, I think we can give ourselves a break. And I'm starting to say that more is a four letter word and I don't want to sign up for more, you know, right now. And what we're going through, it's hard and we have to recognize that. And it's okay to, to do a little less right now. Now, Catherine, you've traveled around the world talking with moms from 17 different countries. Wow. That's crazy. So is there anything you learn from them that can help me as I start my journey into motherhood? Absolutely. What you need to know is that as mothers, we all think we suck at being a mother. And so oh, man. The mom guilt is you're, real. You're new to this. <laughs> That's right. It's um, it is absolutely real. And like you said, I've studied mothers all around the world. And the most common emotion that we share is self doubt, meaning we don't think we're good enough, tough enough, patient enough. And so that should bring you some peace, you know, to know most of us think that, oh, I'm pathetic and everybody else is perfect. But we all feel pretty flawed as, as mothers. Now I have to ask this question because I always hear moms talking about losing themselves. So when this baby comes, how do I make sure not to lose me. The best way to avoid losing yourself is to put yourself on your calendar, right? So our, all of our lives revolve around our calendar. If it's not on the calendar, it's not real. And so put yourself on your calendar in reoccurring meetings. It could be for a glass of wine with a girlfriend. It could be for a yoga workout, a walk, whatever it is. But once you're there first, the rest of the world will still fit and all those daily tasks and assignment will still get done, but you don't have to constantly find the courage to carve out me time because it'll already be there. I, I'm going to apply that. And that is just so easy to do, but it's, it, I feel like we, we overlook it, right? So thank you for that tip. Uh, now this weekend is Mother's Day. What are your feelings about our American holiday here? I don't think Mother's Day is great for, for most mothers. And according to my research, 92% of mothers say they never get what they want for Mother's Day. And what mothers tell me they really want for Mother's Day is a break a day <laughs> to off. be left That's alone. Wow. I told my a husband, day off. We, I just want a day off. <laughs> no flowers, yes, no nothing. <laughs> That's right, forget it. So you know what, that is what women want. But I think what's sad is even though that's what we want, we don't feel comfortable asking for that. We, it's our day. We should be comfortable, you know, saying what we want, voicing our opinion. And if you're looking for something, you know, for your own mother, write her a letter, write her a card, yeah. tell her how much you love her um, and leave her alone for a day. I love that. Great advice. Leave her alone. I, know. I, hope, everybody, I hope all the uh, dads out there are watching. <laughs> Catherine, thank you for joining DBL. For those of you who want to learn more of Catherine's amazing tips, you got to get her book, Slay Like a Mother. Great title, by the way. Available on Amazon. It could be the Mother's Day gift that moms actually want, along with their day off. Maybe some flowers, too, a massage. Why not? Throw all of it at her. Thanks again, Catherine. We'll be right back.